After the big day of cleaning up our homestead, the family is gonna be really, really hungry. We're gonna have a big picnic, and I'm taking fried chicken. I love fried chicken. My family really loves fried chicken. And it really is the perfect picnic type food because it doesn't have to be piping hot when you eat it. It's just as good room temperature as it is hot. I'm gonna start by making the coating for the fried chicken. I've got five cups of flour, and I'll just add a whole bunch of seasonings. Season salt, of course. And then a little bit of paprika. I'm gonna add some cayenne pepper, not too much, just enough to add a little heat. Some ground thyme, and then plenty of salt and pepper. That looks pretty well seasoned. So I'll mix the flour together. Now this is a little trick I learned a long, long time ago from a fellow homeschooling mom. I've got a mixture of milk and buttermilk, and I'll use a fork and just drizzle it in. And as I drizzle it into the dry ingredients, I'll just mix it until the liquid makes little clumps throughout the flour. That just gives the fried chicken a great texture, a little bit of extra crispiness. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think I'll stop there. All right, now I've got two whole cut up fryer chickens and they've been soaking in buttermilk for a few hours. I'm just gonna put a few pieces in the breading and then just toss them around. Use my fingers and sort of press the breading onto the pieces. Now I've been heating up some oil in an iron skillet. I've got a thermometer and it reads 360 degrees, which is exactly the temperature I want. So I'll just drop the pieces of chicken in it's not enough oil to completely deep fry the chicken pieces. It's about an inch and a half of oil. I just want them to sit in there, not float around. Now I'm gonna cover the pan and let them cook for about five to seven minutes, and then I'll uncover it, flip the pieces, let them finish cooking for another three to five. And I'll get it out, it looks gorgeous. Okay, now I'm actually gonna take the smaller pieces Stick them on a plate and just set them aside. They're fully cooked, they've fried enough. Couple more small ones. Okay, now for these bigger pieces, I'm gonna put them into a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes or so, and that'll just make sure all the chicken is fully cooked. Crispy, golden, delicious, need I say more?